it is time to do a job I've been putting off for far too long. So it is now May, and I bought this flow monitoring module, a half-inch version, way back on Black Friday, which was, what, like back in November of last year. And I've always had the intention of putting that uh, on my UV sterilizer uh, just so I could monitor the flow coming through here, make sure that I am keeping it at the proper flow rate, which for this model UV sterilizer is between 79 and 131 gallons per hour. And I have a PMOP pump, which is in there, which I use to feed this thing, and it's been working uh, great as far as, you know, UV sterilization. I haven't had any ick outbreaks or anything since I've been running this. Now, I have no idea if it's you know, just because I don't have ick or if this has been doing its job. Either way, I'm going to keep running it. Uh, but I do want to know, I've been curious, you know, how much water is actually going through there. Um, and I've been on a kick of, you know, upgrading a lot of my stuff lately. And I already have the uh, FMM module on my Apex. This is the Neptune Apex system. And this module up here, FMM, that's the flow monitoring module. And what this allows you to do is hook up to four devices uh, to that uh, box there. So what I've already have on here is a flow monitor for my return pump right there. And I really love that addition. And I'll show you what that can do in just a little bit. Um, so yeah, I've been using that. Really love it. And two of the other things hooked up to that, I've got um, the leak detectors. So I've got one of the leak detectors right there, uh, you know, right where my outlet is for my return pump because I have an external re return pump. So I just want to catch if anything starts leaking, it'll probably start leaking right there. Um, so that's why I've got the uh, leak detector right there. And then I've also got a leak detector out here in front of the cabinet, which is here under the carpet right there. So if any water were to escape the cabinet, start leaking on the carpet, um, you know, if it hits that sensor, again, I'll get a notification and I can do something about it. So the last port, um, I'd always intended to put a flow meter onto my UV sterilizer. Just never got around to it. But since I took this thing out for maintenance, uh, you know, now's the time to do it. So all I need to do is, as you can see, this is half inch and I've got three quarter inch plumbing. For some reason, they do not make a three quarter inch flow monitor. Uh, so what I need to do is just cut this right here and I've got some adapters and I'm going to just uh, go from three quarter inch down to half inch into the flow meter and then you know come out on the other end half inch and go back to three quarter inch. So pretty simple to do. Um, so I just gotta you know, make those cuts now and I'm gonna get this installed and see how it works. So let me show you a little bit of why I like having um, the ability to, to monitor the flow coming through my pumps. Uh, so down here is the uh, flow monitor for my return pump. And it basically just outputs whatever is coming you know, out of the pump. And in my case, it generally hovers right around 400 gallons per hour. Sometimes it's a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less, but it's usually right in the 400 gallon per hour range. Um, so that is nice to know, for, you know first of all, it, I just love having all the data to look at. Uh, but the main thing that's really useful for is I could watch this and I've got some alert set. So if that falls bet below a certain threshold, I know that there's something going on with my return pump and there's probably something clogging it, and I could get in there uh, and take care of it instead of just letting it run and not realizing that you know, my flow has been uh, severely hindered on my tank. And generally, you know, what could happen is down here, I've got this little screen right there, uh, which the water flows through. And if any, you know, chado or just anything gets uh, sucked onto that screen, uh, it could start impeding the flow going through there and that will show up you know, in my flow rate. So then I know I can get in there and clean that out. And it's been you know, pretty helpful. So I'm hoping to do, well, not hoping, it's going to do the same thing for me 
uh, for my little PMUP pump here. So this thing will be pulling water, you know, feeding my UV sterilizer. Uh, and as you notice, I have this screen or this little bag over that. Uh, from what I've learned in the past, these PMUPs, the impellers are very fragile. If any little snail gets in there, it can break the blade off. So I keep this little bag there. And of course, if you're sucking stuff through that screen, stuff gets stuck to it. And it'll eventually start to slow down the pump. And I'm going to know that by watching the flow rate going through there. So um, I'll be able to know that it's time to go in there and clean that thing. All right, so I've got the sensor assembly in place. That piece just, just fell down. Here's the, um, the piece of pipe I cut out from here. No real trick to it, just cut that piece out and replaced it with my sensor assembly with my little adapters. Just use your standard PVC cement to get the job done. And let's go get this thing installed and see how it works. Just a couple of more things before I connect this thing up. Um, first up, if you can see, this little sticker is was on the back of the uh, sensor. And it says it uses non-standard threads. It uses BSPP. Um, I'm assuming it's non-standard in the U.S. So I think these are a little bit difficult to find here. Probably more standard worldwide. Um, don't know. But anyway, um, the little couplings uh, use those st non-standard threads uh, according to that sticker. So if you ever need to install this somewhere else, um, you're going to have your work cut out for you finding these adapters. Or maybe you can get them from Neptune. And the other thing is on the back of the sensor. If you can see, there is an arrow indicating uh, the direction of the water flow. So you want to make sure you install this in the proper direction. And uh, yeah, so let me get this thing on and check it out. And here it is installed. Pretty easy job. Um, they give you plenty of cable. Definitely don't need all that because I'm only going right there. So I've got it plugged into port number four. I need to get my label maker and put a label on the cable. I um, always label all these things because, trust me, it helps in the future because you're never going to remember which wire goes where, especially when you have so much stuff. So I label everything. So I'm going to get that plugged in while well, it is plugged in. And then I come over to the computer. And then up here... Uh, in a little dashboard of unused items. It popped up, told me there was a new tile. So there it is right here. So I'll do is pull this down and we'll just throw it out here somewhere for now. And then it's called uh, Flex 94. Let's give that something a little bit more descriptive. So I'm just going to call this U V flow. I think that is a good name for this. And you could probably set up some more advanced stuff. I'm not going to put an alarm on it now. I've got it. it's running at gallons per hour. And that sensor size, I need to change that. So let me just save this here. Well, I forgot to hit the record button while I changed the sensor size. Uh, so let me show you how that's done. Uh, you just go up here. They have some wizards, or they call them tasks. Uh, you hit that. You just go down to flow sensor. You hit that. It'll just walk you through uh, what you need to do. And I've got everything already set up. Um, so I just went to this one. And in here, you could change it to a half inch, which is what I did. So let me cancel that. And I, I just finished through that, and that changed for me. So just let me double check. And it thinks it's a half inch sensor, which it is. All right, so now going back to here. So right now it's uh, measuring 74 gallons per hour going through there, uh, which is good. It's a little bit less than... Um, the 80 that I was looking for, but it's close enough for me. I think that'll be good. Um, you know, 74, 75, it seems to have stabilized around there. So it looks like that's close enough. And I'll just let this thing run. It might take a little while to break in. 
Um, but uh, it's good to know how much is going through there. I know I'm pretty much in the range of the specs for this UV sterilizer. Um, and I could set some, uh, set the alarms based on, you know, this now. If I see that going way lower than 75, I'll set an alarm. If I see it going way higher, I know something else is obviously wrong. I can set an alarm for that. There it is, pumping the water out. And so, like I said, it was 75 gallons per hour. Um, this tank, I've, I've estimated value for about 210 uh, total gallons of water volume. So 70 gallons an hour, so about three hours. Uh, potentially, it could have run all of the water in the aquarium uh, through the UV sterilizer. Um, you know, obviously, you don't know if all of the water molecules are going to make it through there, but it's a good estimation. So about every three hours, um, this thing has the potential to have uh, sterilized everything that went through there. And the fact that it is running on the low end means that there's a lot more contact time uh, inside the tube. So that's better for when you're trying to kill stuff. Um, and these things obviously will only affect things that go through them. So there's no guarantee that every harmful organism is going to make its way through here. But I like to, uh, to have one rather than not have one in, in my systems. So I'll just finish off with some shots of the aquarium. I do have some more hardware items, which I'll be uh, adding to this tank, and I plan to make some videos on them. So if you're interested in seeing them, uh, hit that subscribe button, and preferably that notification bell so you can be the first to see them. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I want to thank you guys for watching, and have a great day.